In this video, I'm going to show you the dyeing technique I used to create these dreadlocks. After half an hour, you want to wring your wool out. You want to make sure that it's damp but not soaking. If the wool soaking wet ink can cause the dyes to dilute more than you want and you won't achieve the colour that you were aiming for. The next step you want to do is set up your dyeing area. I like to lay an old towel down to protect the surfaces. Place cling film on top. This is where you're going to be placing your water dye. Grab yourself some thin gloves and start laying out your wall. Now it's time to prepare your dye. Depending on the dye you use, it will have different preparation instructions. Brands I recommend are Jacket Acid Dye and Rit Liquid Dye. These are really easy to use when it comes to dyeing wool. Gently pour the dye onto the wall. You might find it easier to put the dye into squirty bottles and squirt it directly on. Squeeze and push the dye into the wall so that it gets fully saturated. You need to make sure that it's saturated all the way through, otherwise you will end up with white patches. Repeat this with all the colours. I like to start with the lightest colour first. This enables me to easily blend the colours together. If you start with a darker colour, you'll have to wipe your gloves off as you go along. Next up is to wrap the wall in more cling film. You need to make sure that it's secure and that none of the dye leaks out of the side. This is what it should look like once you're done. Place the wall into a microwavable safe bowl ensuring the darkest colour is at the bottom. You need to put it in for 10 minutes. This will effectively steam the dreads and the heat will activate the acid dye. After it's done dyeing in the microwave, I'm on to the next dyeing technique. I like to wrap the ends that I've already dyed in tin foil in order to protect them from the heat of the pan. I like to re-soak the undyed parts of the wool locks before continuing on to the next step. Just add a little bit more of your acid activator into the water and place them in the bowl to soak. Now it's time to set up your acid dye bath. Boil a pan of hot water and add your acid reactor to it. Mix up your dye and pour it into the bath. Next up, dunk the undyed part of the wall into the pan. This will give you a rough idea if the colour is correct. Keep twisting and moving the wall around to make sure the colour is evenly distributed. You know the wall is done when you either achieve the correct colour or the dye is all dissipated from the bath. I 
wasn't completely happy with how the colour turned out, so I went back and did the pink again. 